we have finally got hands on with the 41st Overwatch hero, Juno the Space Ranger. But who actually is she? Where does she come from? And why is she so goddamn thick? Well, let's start with her name for one, because it's not actually Juno. If you look closely at her suit, it says Tio Min, which is a combination of both Chinese and Vietnamese names. We know her mother is May's former colleague from university, seen here with this photo in her escape pod, and a sneaky hero interaction. I would be much more nervous without Auntie May here. However, it is more likely that her heritage is Vietnamese over Chinese, given her voice actress is a Vietnamese American. Okay, so that's who she is, but where does she come from? Well, we know from as early as 2023 that she hails from a Mars colony. So, to revise my earlier statement, she could technically be Martian, or at least born on Mars, since she is in her early 20s, and we know space colonies in the Overwatch world have been around for at least 25 years, since pre-Omnic Crisis. At this point, we don't know a huge amount about Mars colonies, but we can speculate based on what we know from the lunar colonies. For example, we know that the Horizon Lunar Colony was mostly a scientific research station designed to observe the long-term effects of low gravity on animals, with the intention to ultimately explore space. So a Mars colony, if indeed a scientific research facility, is likely an early attempt at human resettlement elsewhere. Since Mars is typically seen as a substitute for Earth when everything goes to shit, this particular colony is called Red Promise though, so they are likely promising folks a better future on Mars, which is often referred to as the Red Planet. It goes to reason then that there should be some pretty insane technology going into a facility like this, which is probably why Juno has some interesting gear. Her Martian overboots allow her to hover, similar to the hover tech we see in cars of that time, which was actually created by Dr. Sebrin de Kuiper, if you didn't know, or Sigma to you and I. Coupled with her Pulsar 1 propulsion on her back, she can hover around at ease, making her incredibly mobile. The same tech is powering her Pulsar torpedoes, which have strayed slightly from the original concept as they were once attached to her. You also have the Hyperring, which is created from her wrist gauntlets. Not sure what this is doing, other than maybe bending space-time. And how can I forget the satellite she seemingly has control over in orbit, able to control an orbital laser. So then, the most important question, why is Juno so goddamn thick? Well, everything we know about Mars contradicts the physique shown here. Living in a lower density atmosphere, bones and muscles are more likely to atrophy, so the only conclusion I can draw here is that the developers just wanted to interest the player base. But hey, I'm not complaining. So if you got this far into the video, thank you very much. You are within the 1% of viewers that get this far. But what do you think about Juno? Do you like the concept or do you want to see more of Mars? Perhaps a new map 